Great family, welcome back to the farmstead. We are yet again at the backyard in Swakopmund. I'm giving you a tour in the preparation of our potatoes that we planted together uh, and as well as some small backyard harvesting. So we are starting here. I'm sure you remember this container because this container looked very good um, for the previous video that we shot. But, uh, ouch, yo, I just injured myself with the aloe vera. Okay. Um, so this is what it looked like in that video because all the plants were upright but I can see they are all flopping over you can also see there is a little bit of face damage and the leaves are also turning brown um, so we are getting very very close to harvesting but we are going to wait for it to die back I think for this specific container and one other one that I'm going to show you we have to come back and uh, do a little bit of pest control because it's um going overboard this um is the container that we planted together when i shot the video on how to grow uh, potatoes in containers you can see the germination is very very good and they are doing very well in here um you see it's still very it's still very deep you see just uh, show here so that they can see the level of the soil the level of the soil you can see it's very deep so um i added of course some bean bean peels but we have to come and fill this back with soil until it have gone really up okay this is another container that is not doing that well um you can see it's suffering from pest damage a lot of pest damage um this specific container also had pest damage um in the other one and a lot of them have died out we have also come through you can see the open space here we have come through and dug out up some of the potatoes that were here and we have gotten baby potatoes from there of course we did so because they were also dead so like this specific one is not going to grow anymore so um you see and i think it's something under the soil because they're all coming out like this so you we have an option to either dig this and take out all those baby potatoes that were on here but we are not going to do that so we are going to leave the leaves here just to compost in place another um container um i think we planted this the same day as we planted the other one but we didn't do this one on did we do it on camera no I, i'm not sure but yeah this one is also growing very very well another section here i can't fit here and i don't think i've shown you this before we came through yesterday trying to weed out some of these containers that have nothing um we are of course letting the wood just compost in place so all this is just weed i used to have basil in here oh this smells i used to have basil in here but uh, because of our cool weather it have died back i'm hoping that it will come back because every time i think it have died back it always comes back so you can see there's also potatoes in here potatoes in there and another container of potatoes now i can show you the greenhouse okay so this is the greenhouse maybe we can start here with the chives you guys saw um these chives were very little when i put them in um and today this is what they look like i'm of course going to come through and cut them back because i can see they have grown so much and to use some of it in our cooking but yeah um and then again this is our spinach and the nape cabbage they are growing very very well if you check here i keep trying to eliminate potatoes from here but this is a potato that i have missed to take out so i guess that one is going to grow in there and then the beans this is contender beans and uh, this is what we are going to harvest today they are growing really really well you can see we have beans here we have beans there um a little bit of beans here what i have seen is that um they are not doing so well i don't know maybe it's because of the cold um weather despite them being in the greenhouse and those or maybe it's the watering because we are watering um manually from above perhaps um they are getting fungal infection because they are getting wet when we are watering i'm not really sure but yeah you can see some sort of fungal like this is a typical example can you focus on this one 
you can see here this one really has a lot of fungal infection you see this was a bean that is now um, dying back because of the infection i'm hoping that it will get better then we have more leaves like this i'm hoping that it will get better though this is a plant pot that i just put there this is a pine pine berry um it's a white strawberry it's a bit that is so it's a white strawberry they say it's um a combination a fusion of pineapple and strawberry so it's a crossbreed and apparently it tastes just like strawberry and um pineapple combined so yeah i can't wait you i bought this um yesterday or the day before yesterday um they are not doing so well i feel like despite them have flowering they are so leggy and um so i came through and just added some composted cow manure i hope that will do the trick but for now they are going to stay here because i'm not quite ready to plant them in the soil okay and then we come to the section of the beetroot the beetroot is so crowded guys very very crowded and you see it's a very small space so we are going to harvest some of the leaves um and eat them as greens but what i have seen is that they are starting to fall okay this one's like okay this one this one is a bit bigger you see this one i don't know whether they can see and then that also mm -hmm. here so a lot of them are this size although there are smaller ones that still looks like this okay so i will harvest now maybe you guys can join me as i harvest um the thing is we are going to take off all of them even those that are diseased and then we can throw out those that are diseased okay. this is um, a contender bean like i already said it's a new variety that i'm growing for the first time I'm not sure whether I really like it like um, the one that I usually grow or the one that um, you guys saw me harvesting with you earlier this year. But I'm going to try and see how good it is with cooking and what does it taste like. Then I'll give you that review. Um, that, is what is that, that is what will determine whether I'll keep growing this specific bean or not but um i have seen a lot of people in videos who are also growing contender bean variety and they are saying that it's good so i don't want to judge it too much because i have really subjected this to harsh um weather this is a, a warm weather crop and for those of you who are from namibia or who knows namibia very well you do know that our coast is very very cold it gets really cold obviously not um freezing or whatever but it gets really cold so this is definitely not the right temperature to grow beans in Um, in a very small space this space is quite small guys very very small but still we don't buy greens anymore because we are getting enough spinach from here today we are getting beans 
um although it is quite my dream to get a house with a bigger space oh i almost jumped because i thought this was a caterpillar yeah 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 it, it is my dream to have a bigger backspace you know also a plant oh there's more here uh, i think it's also the competition with the spinach is not healthy <laughs> there's this one here but you can see even the smallest plants have really produced well so i think um given the right temperature the right weather these beans will definitely produce more uh, okay finally i managed to get this one okay some of these ones are also having rot okay i don't know whether to say i underestimated my harvest because it's a mountain okay then put this here and then um we can continue harvesting okay this spinach let me just grab all of it because it's going out of the greenhouse We are definitely not going to take too many leaves from here because I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it, but for me, I believe that um, the more you harvest, it affects the bulb size. I think, and I made this conclusion from um, the other planting that we had, I think we over harvested and the bulbs were never really this big. So this is why from here, this is the first time we are harvesting. And we just want to reduce the number of leaves, not really that we want to take a lot of it. I think for today we might be done. Now we go inside and then we show you what we have gotten. Okay, guys, we are inside and Omagano is making her presents uh, felt. So please excuse me for that. So these are the beans that we harvested. We still have to wash them because some of them, um, like this one, is not rotted, but it's having that scab that we have to wash away. And these are the um, leaves that we harvested. But you are seeing um, we have um, pumpkin that we bought from um, Food Lovers Market plus tomatoes. And you would be asking why is she having so many tomatoes or so much tomato? Will she be able to use um, all these tomatoes up? Um, this, I've got a good way of preserving tomatoes that I want to share with you. Um, tomatoes are very very good at being frozen and they hold up so you can buy like now you can we bought this many we are going to separate them into smaller bags and then we are going to stick them into the deep freezer they are going to stay good for cooking obviously they won't be good for salads and uh, fresh eating after that but for cooking they are going to hold up well and um, usually I think Food Lovers Market 
put them on sale now and then so this whole bag is just 35 dollars which is less than what okay let me not even convert it anyways um so yeah it's 35 namibian dollars very very cheap so together like this i spent 105 namibian dollars which is less than 10 us dollars altogether so we are going to freeze them um also the same with pumpkins it's pumpkin season now so they are usually cheaper these are crown pumpkins and um, obviously we are going to keep this for fresh eating because we only bought two but if you come to a sale that really really has a lot of um pumpkins and you want all of them you can easily just cube them blanch them and then you freeze them that is another way of preserving them but this is a video for another day i'm obviously going to do a video on three ways how i preserve tomatoes in three ways of how i preserve um or ways of preserving pumpkin but like i said those are videos for another day thank you so much for hanging with me from your